So what were y'all doing out here today? Today we were working trainees to ship them out to Fort Lee so they could continue on the training as a, when we look for uh, the current readiness priority of, with health protection, um, uh, protection of the force, but also to continue mission readiness. It's, in, it's imperative that these trainees to continue the flow of our combat troops that we get them to the advanced training so we get them down in the unit ready to exercise mission readiness across both locally and global operations. So why, why is it important? What's the, what's the main one thing you would tell somebody that, you know, the, the, this is important because? Currently this is important. It's, it's, the force, it's the force protection. That's trade out commander's number one priority right now is force protection. Looking at, um, we'll follow on with the second priority of uh, readiness of the Army units, and, and those two tie in together. Uh, one, keeping making sure that we have health protection within our forces, um, protecting our own, but in addition, we must keep mission readiness because uh, I mean, with the continuing operations that we have all going on globally, we must be ready and trained for, but to be able to continue these on, you, you have to have the flow of uh, soldiers going on to their next, uh, their advanced individual training uh, from basic combat training. So what, what did y'all do that was different than what you would normally do for a ship? Today? Now today, today shipping, uh, in order to, for us to have the uh, protection of the force, we social, we had the trainees social distance out there, keep them at least separated from anywhere from six to 10 feet apart to make sure that uh, we're not taking any chances or uh, doing all risk mitigation measures possible to make sure that if there is happen to be a trainee that may have a, a higher risk of um, COVID-19 that it does not spread to keep them further as part as we possibly can to keep the social distance uh, with the new measures that we have in place. So what, what did y'all do with the buses prior to them getting on today? Uh, with the buses today uh, we had a uh, a group of uh, soldiers that came up on they disinfected the buses the seats the windows um, every piece of bus that could be touched um, to make sure that uh, they were completely sanitized and they were uh, good for operational use to move to uh, uh, Fort Lee for AIT. So uh, I know a lot of things have changed over the last couple of weeks with what we're doing because of COVID-19. Um, how hard has it been for you to, you know, from, from your perspective being a company first sergeant, to, to get these soldiers to understand the social distancing, don't touch your face, wash your hands. What what kind of a challenge has that been like? For well, you? with within the battalion, within the company, and within Fort Jackson, I, from from day zero, from when the soldiers get here, we already do. We already already take hygiene measures uh, to teach soldiers how to wash their hands, how to shower, how to use hand hand sanitizer. Um, the, 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 the difference is, is the soldiers on the social distancing apart is making sure during physical training or during formations that we've had to restructure our formation down there at the company level to make sure to ensure uh, all soldiers are six feet apart. For instance, uh, formations, I have four sections within the company down there. I used to hold formations just within one, that one side of four sections. Now we've had spread, spread it out to utilize both sides of the company where to ensure that we are, all of our soldiers are at least six feet apart from each other at all times so we're properly social distance. Okay. Anything else you want to add about today? Oh. I think we're done. Do you, right. you have anything else you wanted to? No, I said the operations was very successful today. Um, I know the soldiers are happy They're to continue on the training to Fort Lee. And after this, uh, like I said, we have another 124 soldiers down there in Delta Company for sure that are ready to move on to training to the different AIT locations. Okay. All right. I, I know that semi was coming by, so okay. I don't want that repeated or not, but it's up to you. So, yeah, can you repeat that last part the truck coming yes, in? Yes, sir. So, uh, the only thing else that I could possibly say is I got 124 other trainees down at Delta Company. Uh, they're looking forward to moving on to advanced individual training. Um, overall, this operation, I believe, was an overall uh, very successful operation to move the trainees from here to Fort Lee.